Can we just sit down for a second and talk about the fact that it is already September? And I know a lot of you are out there like really stoked about the fact that, you know, this pumpkin spice latte season, Halloween's around the corner, the leaves are changing, and I'm like, where's June? And maybe it's just the fact that where I'm from, you get like two months out of the year. No, not even, really, it's like a, like a month and a half where it's like really nice weather, and the rest of the year, it's really cold and icy and gross. So basically, I just live by two countdowns every single year. The countdown to Christmas, and then the countdown to summer again. Hello everyone! I'm here today to share with you guys a new full face first impression and today I'm going to be talking about all things Colourpop. Colourpop has been absolutely crushing it recently with a ton of really cool new launches. They're launching in Sephora's I think in the uh, Christmas season and once I've had a chance to like test out and play with these products and figure out what my favorites are, my least favorites are, I actually want to sit down in a couple of weeks and do an updated buy or buy on Colourpop. I did one a couple of years ago and since then they have obviously launched a ton of new products, many of which I'm going to be testing out today but I also have a bunch of other products that I just I didn't have I didn't have enough real estate on my face to put them all on at once so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video as well as new videos every Tuesday Thursday and Friday I hope you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up if you do and without further ado let's get into this all right so I have a little bit of primer on my face and now I'm gonna go in with foundation and it's not a Colourpop foundation because Colourpop as of this present moment doesn't have any foundation looking at you Colourpop Let's fix this. But I do want to test out a whole bunch of their different brushes. That they, oh, this one's not a little, oh, get out of here, little guy. These ones are a whole bunch of ColourPop brushes. So I'm going to be testing these out today to use with any of the products that I use, regardless if they are uh, ColourPop or not. First things first, I did wash all these brushes and they washed well, they dried well, they kept their shape. They feel really good quality and they come at a good price point, which is great. The one thing I will say about these brushes is I wish they wrote on them like what they're supposed to be used for. Like some of them, it's fairly obvious which one's a blush brush and which one isn't. But it would be nice if, you know, you could tell the difference on here for people um, what each of the brushes is supposed to be used for. The eyes can get a little bit complex if there's all these different brushes. And I think that would be a nice add. So that's the one thing I will say about them just like right off the bat having not tested them out yet. So now we're going to get into a foundation and today I'm going to be using the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. This is by uh, Koki. Koki? Cookie? Cook, cookie, right? So I'm going to use this little guy. This is a little stippling brush and it can be used for any sort of cream or liquid product. So I'm going to be testing it out with my foundation. I feel like it's a little bit small for, for that purpose, but we're going to test it out anyway. And the primer that I'm using on my skin, by the way, is one by Laura Mercier. It is their foundation primer, their Radiance Bronze one. I really like it so far. I've only used it like two times now, but I think it's a really good one. So far so good, it's not leaving little marks all over the place and it gets into like the little like sides of the nose and stuff really easily, but for blending out the rest of your foundation, this is a little bit of a chore. I think that this particular brush would be much better suited for if you're using a cream contour or if you're like blending under the eyes. I'm gonna try it with the um, concealer. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm testing out the concealers today. But it's a little bit small for the purposes that I'm trying to use it for today. Okay, now that we have that in place, next we're gonna go on to concealer. I'm going to be testing out the No Filter Concealer from ColourPop. I have four shades here because um, I didn't know what shade I was gonna be. I think today I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with at least the uh, Light Neutral 15 and we'll see what that looks like. I'm gonna try without any sort of under eye, usually do some sort of color correcting. I wanna see what it looks like without it on one side and see if I actually need it, see how high coverage it is. I will say so far that I really like the fact that there are light enough shades within sort of my range of skin tones. I think that um, there seems to be some good um, options there. Let's blend it out with this stippling brush here and just see what happens. You know what? <laughs> that did a pretty good job. All right, I'm impressed. Good job, ColourPop. A little bit more along this area here. And I'm gonna put some on my lids as well. I really like the applicator actually. It's nice and flexible. You can see how much it moves. So it just moves into all the contours of your face really nicely. Um, and uh, it's nice and pigmented without being too thick but it is creamy at the same time. It's just a nice consistency. I like it. This brush is seeming to do a good job like blending it out. It's it's making it, it's giving it a nice like airbrushed finish. There's no streak marks or anything from the bristles, which is nice. This is even like a little bit on the light side for my skin tone. Impressed. I definitely have to say I much prefer this brush for concealer than for the foundation. It does a much better job and it gets into all those like little itty bitty corners and stuff, but nothing is going on streaky. Like it's it's actually a really good brush. I didn't wouldn't normally use a brush 
for concealer and this one's doing a really good job. All right now my skin is set. We have a blank canvas to work off of and now I'm gonna go into the brows. Now it is my understanding ColourPop used to have brow products or they had like a brow pencil but they had discontinued it and they relaunched with a full range of brow products. Today I have their pencils. I have a couple of different shades because I wanted to see how ashy they were going to be. So I have blonde, light brown, and dark brown here and I just want to swatch them and see what color I want to do but they also have a brow gel and like a color like a tinted one. Um, they have a couple of different products to choose from but I thought I would go in with their pencils to start with. Alright and looking at the shades here like blonde is going to be too warm light brown I think is going to be too warm and dark brown is going to be too dark. So I'm going to do a mixture of light and dark brown today. I'm going to start in with the light brown shade and then I'll go back in with the dark brown after. That shade is definitely too light but it does add some nice fullness um, to the brows. It feels like it's a, a more, more of a harder pencil than I would normally reach for. Alright so now the brows are done and I think they look pretty good. I think that it wasn't my favorite pencil but it's not a bad pencil either. I've also put a little bit of bronzer and some blush on my face as well and I used um, these two brushes here this fluffy brush and then this angled brush I wish there was a big fluffy brush for bronzing as well or something even like what I would normally use as a big kabuki brush I think these are great for getting those angles and I used this one and it was good but it's not really good for I don't know it, it's just so it's so small that for like a more of a bronzed effect I want something a little bit bigger again the brushes are very very soft like I swear it's like a little baby animal just rubbing product on my face. And now we're gonna go on to a highlight palette. This is the Gimme More Highlighter Palette. <laughs> I like your face. I like your face. The inside we have a whole bunch of different shades of highlight. They're very sparkly and I want to touch them and put them all over my body. So let's swatch these. Although I can tell you right now that these are gonna be the only two shades that work for my skin tone at all, but that I'm gonna swatch them anyway. So what is extra? Ho ho ho! Nice and light and white. Yep. I like it. I like it. They're very, very creamy in terms of formulation. They seem to swatch pretty well too. That one's more of like an icy pink shade. I don't think that's the one I'm going to go for today. I'll try this like orangey one. That's really pretty. Definitely not for my skin tone for a highlight, but oh, that's pretty. It's almost got like a nice peachy sheen to it. Oh, I want to put that on my eyes. Next up is Full Service. Also really pretty. I would put that over top of a blush for sure. I like it. And then these two shades are right here. Bigger and better and total package. Also very pretty shades, not gonna work for my skin tone, but the formula is there and they're really, really pretty. I don't know how pigmented this is like right off the get-go. So we'll start small and we'll build. Okay, I kind of see it. Not too much though, we'll add a little bit more. This one's very precise for applying product. I don't like this one as much. Let's try this one. It's because I'm not used to using fan brushes for my highlight, if I'm honest. So this one is like a mini, fluffy brush. It's really hard to find a highlight that is light enough for when I have like no self tanner on or anything without being too white and like gray. Um, this one seems to do a good job. It's it's not super blinding but I think if I had some more self tanner on it would definitely be like over the top and crazy and dramatic. Um, it's pretty though and the formula is really nice. You do have to be careful with this like you can see a lot of product has come up. I don't know if it's gonna show but um, just from tapping my brush in there a lot is coming up so just be careful because the product is so super creamy that um, you're just gonna get product like all over the place. Now we're gonna go on to eyeshadows. I've used their potted ones before and their singles and I think they are great. I've never tried their eyeshadow palettes though. So today I have the Yes Please and the She palettes. These are super popular palettes and they're constantly going out of stock and they're like restocking them all the time. If I find out more information on when the next restock will be, I'll let you guys know. Um, but these are some of their more popular popular ones. This one right here, the She palette, is more of like a rosy undertone. It's really pretty. It's got some mattes in here, lots of shimmery metallic shades, and then Yes Please is almost an exact dupe almost for the Sunset palette from Natasha Denona. Um, it's got all of those nice warm um, yellows and oranges and bronzy shades. Very pretty as well. I'm not sure which one I want to play around with today. Maybe we'll do like a mix of both, but I do want to swatch them and see what kind of the formulation is that we're working with. Although if it's anything like the singles, I'm sure it's awesome. Um, so let's start with the um, She palette. I'm just gonna swatch some of these. This really light shade. Oh, they're so creamy. Oh, yes. Hopefully you guys can see how nice and blinding that is. 
Yep. Next, I want to do this color right here. This is what caught my eye as soon as I opened up this palette is this color, which is, I think, Gal. I think it's what it's called. Such a pretty metallic. Oh, my goodness. Ridiculously creamy. So there is Gal. Very glittery, but super pretty. It's got um, almost like a, I want to say like a yellowy gold glitter and a pink base to it and it just gives this really pretty effect to the skin i really like that one and let's swatch a couple more let's swatch some of these matte shades down here we have almost like a, a peachy shade right there very nice they swatch so well guys colourpop eyeshadows are among some of the best swatchable um, eyeshadows also on, like on the eyes too but like swatching like they are no joke well, that one's a little bit chunky it is not blending out well oh well that <laughs> that one I'm not putting on my eyes that did not swatch well can you guys see that super chunky mmm not impressed but the other shades really pretty now we'll go into the yes please palette and I will start again with the lightest shade which is a matte shade a little bit lighter than my skin tone but like let's be honest that's basically my skin tone star of my life then we'll swatch this burnt orange shade right here yes Love it. Now we'll try this color right here. This is Louie. Very pretty, warm, rosy shade. It has that nice metallic finish to it. And then we'll do one more. I'm gonna do another metallic one, this shade down here. Almost like a mustard yellow. It's kind of cool. I haven't seen anything like that before. All right, so we have some good things to start with other than that sort of berry shade that made me sad. But like other than that, all really good. All right, let's tape up the eyes and we'll test out these products. So I kind of went back and forth with both palettes, but I started in the Yes Please palette with a uh, full zip and applied that all over the lid and then in went, went in with Champs, which is this nice peachy matte shade and went into the crease with that and then darkened it up a little bit with Duchess from the uh, She palette, which is much pinkier than I anticipated, but it was really, really pretty. I deepened up the crease with the matte Note to Self shade from the Yes Please palette it was a nice neutral brown it was a little bit on the warm side but not too crazy orange so I really like that one then went to the she palette and used damsel which is this dark purple shade and applied that to the crease in the outer corner a little bit and then went back over it with the um, note to self shade from the yes please palette and kind of went back and forth and deepening up the crease until I got the uh, color that I was looking for and I used uh, French kiss from the yes please palette and applied that um, just along the outer corner up to where the tape is to create sort of a faux wing and smoked that into the rest of the eye look to make it a little bit more of a transition and not such a harsh line. The lids I chose a mixture of ladylike and chick from the she palette and used that on the inner half of the lid and a little bit into the inner corner as well. I curled my lashes and then applied a little bit of mascara. I'm using the pretty vulgar the feathers mascara um, and then I used a little bit of the YSL the shock on top just for added drama and I blended a couple of the brown the matte brown shades from the yes please palette underneath the lower lash line and applied some mascara there as well so then I went on to some lip colors and these are the blotted lips I have the ultra blotted as well as the regular blotted so I started with the ultra blotted and applied it to my lips you can see that as soon as you swipe it on it looks super pigmented but once you like blend it into your lips a bit you can see that it sort of smooths out and created creates this almost like a like a ghosted effect to the skin it really does look like you applied a bunch of lipstick and then blotted most of it off to get this really pretty stain effect I felt like the ultra blotted were a little bit more pigmented than the regular blotted lipsticks um, but I felt them to be both really nice the one thing I will say is that especially for the ultra blotted lip you need to be fairly quick in the application because if you don't then it's going to dry down and it's going to look a little bit streaky so the color I ended up going with was actually double scoop I thought I'd go for more of a cherry tone but I really like how this look turned out I'll update you guys at the end of the day as per usual and let you know how things wore um, but now let's get down to the actual products and like what I ended up thinking just from a first impression standpoint um, which ones I liked 
So first of all, really liked the concealer. For my sort of skin tone shade spectrum, these shades worked really well for me. I like that they have warm, neutral, and cool undertones, so you can kind of pick and choose the one that's gonna work best for you. I liked the coverage, I liked the blendability of them, so overall, I thought those were great. Then on to the brow pencil. I gotta say, I have other ones that I just, I like better. They worked, my brows, I think, look really good, but I had to do a mixture of two different shades to find the right one that would work for me because the light brown was too warm toned. Um, so I think a larger range would be helpful and the um, actual pencil itself was a little bit hard, like the, the formula. And I, I personally don't like that for brows. I like something that's a little bit more malleable. So that wasn't my favorite of everything that I tried. Now onto the Gimme More highlighter palette. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I don't know, I feel like I have other highlights I like better just in even comparing apples to apples in terms of price point um, I think that I don't know I, I guess maybe I was just expecting it to be even more blingy than it ended up being and I was surprised because this is a very very light shade so you'd think that would work like super well and it looks really pretty in person I just wish it was a little stronger you know I don't know like that was my personal take on it I'm still gonna use this and I think that a lot of these shadows would look really pretty on the eyes too it's not my absolute favorite but it's not a bad product by any means. And then lastly, the lip product. I honestly, I really like the effect that these blotted lip products give. Like I've heard so many great reviews on these and then I try them myself and I'm like, yep, I see why everyone is obsessed with them. This color, just on its own, like I'm obsessed with this color. It's summery without being too summery and it's so light. Like it feels like I don't have anything on my lips, guys. It is awesome so I'm really hoping that this wears well throughout the rest of the day so I'll update you guys and let you know I think they're really fun they're pigmented enough that I can justify getting a couple of different colors but they're not so pigmented that they're not any different than the ultra mattes you know like the actual look on the lips looks blotted which is really cool so I really like them personally and I think these shades are gonna be so nice for fall I really like them it's just nailing that whole application process and making sure that you're applying relatively quickly as you're sort of smoothing everything out um, because otherwise it's gonna look a little bit on the streaky side so that was my own that would be my only watch out and definitely more for these than with the um, blotted lips these are much more forgiving but they're not going to be transfer proof whereas these ones are supposed to be so I'd say over all, like pretty successful in terms of like a first impression so I'm going to go about my day and I'll check in with you guys in a bit hey guys so this is a quick update for you guys I'm not in my normal setup because I was actually filming a video for Rachel's life in this spot so I thought I would just sit down as we are and sort of show you guys what my makeup look like at the end of the day um, overall I think it still looks good like the eyeshadow is still in place I can still see the highlight um, the lip has completely worn off though it faded fairly well too like it wasn't chipping or cracking where I was like oh no that looks terrible it just sort of was on my lips and then off my lips so that's good I think that all of my initial impressions are still what I feel like now um, I still like some of the products and some not so much but I will do more of an update for you guys for the big buy or buy in a couple of weeks and that's everything for this video give it a thumbs up if you like these whole like full face first impression type of videos on a specific brand Brand. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the buy or buy that I will be doing on ColourPop in a couple of weeks once I've tested out more of these products more in depth, I guess. I'll put a link in the cards for you guys if you want to see more of my buy or buys like I did one on ColourPop a couple of years ago, Essence, um, Urban Decay, Too Faced, Tarte, like I've done a bunch of them on different brands as well as different launches. So go and check those out if you're interested. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.